Hey everyone, Morgan here. So today I have the Cash Belt by Wazoo Survival. I supported their Kickstarter on this a long time ago and um, I was I finally got it and I'm so excited for it. Um, let me kind of show you how it works. Okay, <clears throat> so this is a an actual Cash Belt and what happens is it has this whole Velcro that opens up here and you can put stuff inside. And, you know, it's very unassuming. It's black all, you know, it's black all the way around, you know, no big surprises or anything. And so, you know, it has this really nice buckle. I know that they were having some trouble with the buckle and their Kickstarters. Now, what I've done here is I've taken um, straws and I've added stuff to it and then just a couple miscellaneous stuff. It actually comes with this where it has a whole bunch of suggestions. I'd really like to add a um, little fishing kit, which they have on their website that's not available right now, but that's one thing I'd like to add, at least to have something where I can maybe get some sort of um, you know, fish or something or some sort of snare wire or something like that in there, which they also have that on their website, which I wanna get that. So, um, you know, uh, the, this is not a complete thing. So what we have to keep in mind here is, you know, I didn't put any paracord in there. The reason for that is I can always wear like a paracord bracelet, you know. Um, I don't have to have paracord in here. It might actually do me better to have something a little more accessible, you know, on my wrist or something like that. But I chose things that I thought would help me in an emergency situation. You know, I live in Texas, so I might need some um, electrolyte powder, you know, to keep me going. This is a water bag that actually came with it. You know, it's an actual bag, you can put water in it. And then I have water tablets. And then you need to know how this stuff works. So like you need to know how long the water tablets need to be in there and stuff like that, which I do. Um, and then I have a little tube of Vaseline. So just so you guys know, I use these really thick straws. I like these boba straws. I have a whole bunch of these. And then I just use um, a multi-tool and I pressed it down and then you just burn the ends. And that's how you do that. Uh, very simple and then I labeled it. I just have a label maker. I put it uh, I wrote a little bit and then I put it on here because there's no way that I'd be able to distinguish this from this Right, so this is Vaseline. This is water tabs. That's good to know and then I have some floss in here This is a, a ferro rod And then this isn't closed up and this, this is just jute twine in there Gorilla tape and then these are cool little things that I'm going to do uh, separate videos on, but this is a little mini saw. And then this is going to be my striker for the ferro rod. And then this is a little mini knife. And then I have a couple pieces of gum for morale. And then I have a couple um, band-aids with a couple um, alcohol pads. So this may not be complete, complete, but I feel okay with this. You know, with uh, some sort of cash belt like this, we have to consider, you know, the realities of when we're going to use this stuff. You know, it'll probably be in a really stressful situation where I'm gonna need to start a fire and I'm gonna need water, you know, with the water taps. Oh, also something else I actually already have in here is tin foil. You know, this is something that I could help to boil water, you know, stuff like that. Um, so that's there in the corner. Okay, so so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put all this stuff inside and see if it works. And if it doesn't, then I'll take some stuff out and we'll just see how it goes. All right, so I was able to, to successfully fit everything except this and except my Q-tips. That's okay. I'm actually okay with not having this stuff there. You know, I still, the Q-tips was just an extra measure for fire starting, but I have the um, jute twine in there. I'm not real concerned. Um, and, you know, this was just a, a something nice to have. I can still maneuver a little bit, but what we want to be really aware of is that all of the Velcro is actually Velcroing back. You really don't want anything, you know, to be exposed. 
you know, it looks like I can still kind of maneuver a little bit of stuff. So like when I get that fishing kit, you know, that I want in here, maybe I can put some extra cash in here. You know, it's just a variety of things that, you know, I'm going to have to really think about here. And also, you know, um, since I did put that knife and that saw in there, if I were to ever go onto a plane, I would need to switch it out for something like this. Like this is the Wazoo um, fire starting necklace. I would, the, Wazoo actually sells this ceramic um, striker and I love this ceramic striker. It's a lot uh, more durable than it looks and it really strikes, really throws sparks. So what I would do is just buy this ceramic striker and probably put it in here or just wear this necklace, you know? Again, so we're talking about, you know, what sort of stuff do you want in a belt that maybe you can't have on your person somehow. All right, so I have the belt on. Here's how it looks. Yeah, looks like a normal belt. All right, so what do you think? I think it looks like a very unassuming belt. You know, I would never know that this is a, a cash belt or anything like that. It's a very, you know, it is very gray, man. I mean, you can't tell that there's stuff in it. I love the black. That, that's why I think I love the black because it's, it's very unassuming, you know. And I tried to put stuff in it that, um, you know, wouldn't, would be easily bendable. It looks like I, I probably need to do something about this here. I'm not sure what I put in there, but, um, you know, I mean, the cash goes all the way up to here. Here's stuff right here. And then here's stuff right here. So it's about here. So, you know, I mean, there's this whole belt. There's pretty much this whole belt is a cash, you know, except for this one little part up here, which for obvious reasons, because of the belt, you know, the buckle and whatever, you know, um, but, I'm really loving this belt. This is going to be my new everyday wear belt. I'm going to put a link down below to where you can go check out this cash belt yourself. I'm super impressed with it. This is going to be my new everyday carry belt. And, uh, you know, this is going to be great for an airplane. Of course, if you switch out the uh, very sharp objects and uh, it's going to be good for a variety of, you know, needs, your everyday uh, survival needs, you know, emergency disaster. So I'm very impressed with it. So again, I'm going to put a link down below where you can go check it out for yourself. You can find me at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and on my website at roguepreparedness.com. And if you really like my videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Links down below in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to you later. Bye.